Hey, this is Rubber Cheese. Today I'm going to do a review and demo of the Honeywell Lyric T5 thermostat. I installed this thermostat about three months ago and I've been using it since then. Uh, this house has a standard efficiency gas furnace from the 80s, um, as well as a 1980s air conditioning unit. Um, although it wasn't used with the old thermostat, there was a, a C wire um, with the wire bundle. Uh, and I use that to hook up the thermostat. This does require a C wire, um, but if you don't have one, you can use another wire, but you lose um, the ability to uh, manually control your fan. Um, for me, it took about 30 minutes to install, and the only thing I have left to do, obviously, is just repaint the wall, but I'm waiting for some better weather. So once you've installed it, um, you put the faceplate onto it, go and switch on your furnace, and it prompts you to select your wireless network and enter your password. Um, from there, I downloaded the app onto my phone, um, right here, and I was able to uh, connect to the thermostat, and um, that associated my thermostat with the app. So this here is the app, and this is pretty much the only way that I make adjustments to the thermostat and it offers pretty much all of the functionality of the thermostat itself here. So, you know, just going from the top, it shows the outside temperature based on the postal code that you've typed in. It shows the inside temperature uh, right now and uh, it allows pretty good uh, adjustment and programming your scheduling. So I'm just going to go through each feature one by one. Um, before I bought this, I couldn't find a video like this online, so I figured I should make one, uh, just in case anyone else is wondering about the functionality. So this here is for the fan. It allows you to have the fan on auto, where it'll run only when heating and cooling is taking place. Uh, circulate, I believe, runs the fan 35% of the time, and on is obviously running the fan all the time. Now, like I mentioned, the circulate and on features are not available, if you are not using a C wire and you've instead used another existing wire, that you wouldn't have those, those options. Um, the schedule in the center allows you to set your schedule. Um, there are some limitations. Um, you can only have four set points per day and you can either have a single day so that every single day is the same or you can have group days. But even group days, you can only do Monday to Friday and you're allowed four set points. And then Saturday, Sunday, you're allowed up to four set points. Um, I kind of wish that there was more that you could do. It'd be nice if I could have more than just four schedules in a day. And it would be nice if I could have um, some days with different schedules. So for example, sometimes I don't go to work on Fridays. So it'd be nice to have a different schedule on Friday. Um, you can also uh, enable adaptive recovery. And that's under the settings here. And what it does is it learns how long it takes for your furnace to reheat the house. And then I guess it'll make adjustments based on the outside temperature so that your house is actually the temperature you want at the time in the schedule. Um, I don't use that because I find that it makes the furnace go on too early in the morning. And then we end up roasting under our, uh, under our duvets because we like it pretty cold while we're sleeping. So, uh, the next setting is the heating and cooling setting. Uh, so it allows you to, to select if you're in cool, heat, or off mode. So this thermostat does not feature a cool heat mode where it will automatically switch between. You have to pick one or the other. Uh, the other cool thing about this um, is that the, um, the icon that you've selected, they'll be kind of, um, it becomes animated when the furnace is actually running and I'll kind of show that later. That's useful if you're not home. You can see if the furnace is actually running at that moment in time. I mean, obviously, if you're at home, you can, you can tell pretty easily. So then the, the last thing in the app is the thermostat dial, and that allows you to adjust um, the set point. Um, don't hold it because I find it doesn't necessarily work. Um, usually I just tap the set point that I want. And then once I've picked a set point, 
Um, you can click, th this tells you how it's going to treat that set point. So right now it's saying hold it until the next set point, but you can actually click it and permanently hold that temperature or you can set uh, a time in the future um, that you it goes back. Once you're not needing that, you can just hit resume schedule and it goes back to the normal schedule. Um, I see it's taking a minute. This should have corrected up to 72. I'm not sure why it's not. So resume schedule, following schedule. So this thermostat also um, supports geofencing and that automatically changes your set points based on the location of your mobile device compared to the house. Uh, you can have multiple users with different accounts. So your thermostat theoretically knows where everybody is. And when everyone is more than whatever you've set up as the predefined distance away from your house, you can lower the set point. So I like the idea of that. Um, but because I have a very low set point during the day, um, I found that it didn't work very well for me. So when I'm at work, the house is down to 60 degrees and I live about 20 minutes from work. So no matter what set point I use, I can get home in 20 minutes, but it takes my furnace something like an hour and a half when it's cold out to heat my house. So I found that that doesn't really work very well for me. Um, but if you have a only if, if you only have your day set point a few degrees cooler than your um, when your home set point that might work a lot better So the next feature that this has are alerts um, It lets you or it'll send an, a notification to you if your house gets too warm or too cold um, It's pretty cool because um if I have mine set uh, uh, six degrees lower than my coldest ever temperature, so I know that if, if my thermostat ever sees a temperature that low, it means there's something wrong with the furnace, um, but I'll get the notification long enough in advance of freezing that hopefully I can do something about it. As far as connectivity goes, the app can be used both within your Wi-Fi network and obviously on any, any um, internet network, whether it's LTE on your phone or someone else's Wi-Fi. Um, I do find that I get regular disconnect messages. Um, even though I get them though, um, the app seems to work pretty well. I've just taken a screenshot of one. It says, unfortunately, we're having trouble reaching the network. Please check your mobile or Wi-Fi connection. Um, every time I would hit retry, it'll usually just work. It's just it's irritating because this alert will come up probably every other day for me. And my phone is always within an LT network. It's not like I'm, I'm losing actual cell signal. And I'm pretty sure that my home internet's um, reliable. So it's just annoying to get these messages all the time, even though they don't really affect anything. So as far as the base unit goes, um, touching on the bottom half of the screen doesn't do a lot. Um, no, I guess it does. Um, it allows you to just like the app, you can adjust the temperature up or down, set points up here. Um, you can adjust how the fan works using the fan button down here, and then the mode heat, cool, or off. Um, the only really unique thing about this that I find to be a bit useful is the screen lock. So if you do a full lock, it'll give you a pin, so 2975. I'm gonna select that and confirm the lock. And now it won't let anyone to make adjustments using the, um, the screen at all. So that would be great if you, have, if you have this installed maybe in a rental unit or if you don't want your kids adjusting it on you, um, it's gonna work just fine. And even when this is like, even when it's locked, of course we can adjust everything just using the app. And now it's adjusted on the thermostat. Um, other than that, there's nothing really that you can do on here that you can't do with the app. So overall, what do I like? The price. Uh, it's a great value for a smart thermostat. Um, it's typically between about $100 and 130 Canadian. Um, the appearance. I think this is the best looking smart thermostat on the market. I like it better than the Ecobee and Nest. 
although I mean that really is uh, just preference. Um, the basic capabilities are awesome. It's super handy to adjust the temperatures remotely. You know, if you're coming home earlier than normal, you can always crank up the temperature from your mobile device. So by the time you get home, it's warm. Uh, it's also nice when you're going on a long vacation because you don't have to worry about dropping your temperature um, before leaving because even if you forget, you can always just do it with your app. Um, it's also nice to have improved access to the settings. Um, one of our bathrooms doesn't have a fan and sometimes it gets pretty steamy in there. So it's pretty handy when I've got the thermostat upstairs or got my phone upstairs with me, I can easily just turn the fan to on while I'm in that shower if, if, if it's too steamy. Now I'd mentioned earlier that when the furnace is running the uh, icon is animated and you can see that right now. So there are a few things I don't like about this particular thermostat. Um, like I'd mentioned I wish there was more ability to tweak the settings in the app. You know it'd be great if you can have additional uh, temperature set points and it'd be really good if you could adjust the sensitivity. Um, what I mean by that is um, the thermostat obviously allows some degree of tolerance for the temperature. So um, maybe it'll allow the temperature to drop to let's say 71 and a half, turn on the heat up to let's say 72 and a half, and then allow the heat to drop back down to 71 and a half before turning the heat back on. Uh, with the Ecobee and maybe the Nest as well, you can actually adjust that sensitivity. Um, and what that will do is allow a little bit more uh, variation in the temperature, but it means that you're cycling your furnace less often, which should be better for the, therm uh, for the furnace. Um, it'd be nice if there was a memory uh, for the schedule, which would allow you to switch between geofencing and schedules without losing all settings. Um, even for this demo, I don't want to switch because I don't want it to forget all my settings. And my final complaint, is the flaky app notifications, um, even though the app will open and control the thermostat just like always. So it's, it just seems a little bit ridiculous that it hasn't. Overall, it's a great thermostat if you don't need a lot of advanced features, but you still want the ability to remotely control your thermostat or even locally control your thermostat um, without actually being at the thermostat itself. Uh, if you want to leverage additional features, you may want to look into the Nest or Ecobee. Um, but, you know, for me or, or for anyone that doesn't need those advanced features, this is a great thermostat. So hopefully this has been helpful for you deciding if this is right for you. And, yeah, good luck with, uh, with whatever you buy.